One of the most important Christmas stories is why did Jesus have to be born into the world? He's God. Did he have to be a man to accomplish what he was trying to do? Or like, what's going on here? So back in the day, God set up a system for his people to have their sins pushed back a year by spilling the blood of animals. But they were never actually paid for. You can't pay your bills with monopoly money, right? In the same sense, you can't pay for the sins of a human without the actual sacrifice or payment of a human. But nobody else could do it. Every human that ever was or ever will be on this earth has sin. And the only person that is sinless is God. So God had to come and wrap himself in flesh so that he, as a sinless human, could pay the penalty for sinful humans. Because like I said, you can't pay your bills with Monopoly money. God had to come as a man in flesh so that he could actually die. He had to be wrapped in something that is able to die. And before that moment, Jesus had never been flesh, so he was unable to die in his body, that is. He had to come so that one day he could hang on a cross and he could physically die for our sins. The Son of God had to come and be born wrapped in flesh so that he could sympathize with us, know what it was like to be human. He was hungry, y'all. He was tired, y'all. He slept. These are things that God had not experienced. God is eternal. He doesn't need to eat. He doesn't need to sleep. We want a God that has been wrapped in flesh so that he knows what it's like to be tempted in every way that we were, yet without sin, so that when we pray, he can sympathize with us and he can know what it is like, what we're feeling and what we're going through. And he can love us in a special way. 